Hello everyone, this is Meredith from the Papery Craftery. Uh, today we are going to have a quick technique tutorial on how to make quilling paper spirals, which look like these long, thin, swirly type things of paper that you can use. I've seen them used for stems or some, there are some artists that just sort of line them all up and make whole quilling works just out of changing the colors of them. So they're pretty useful. And it's a fun technique to try. Um, it might take a couple tries to get used to it. I might even need a couple tries to do it right now, but it's fun, so you'll see. So all you need for this is any kind of paper and your needle tool, standard kneading tool, nothing fancy. And you can use any kind of paper. Um, I think it's a good idea to sort of soften up your paper a little bit before you start rolling to sort of loosen it up, run your fingers down it a couple times just to kind of break up the pulp a little bit. Makes it easier to roll, a little softer. So the first thing you want to do is instead of starting straight across like you normally would start your quilling on your needle tool, you're going to take your strip and kind of go, we're going at an angle. So we're sort of starting like this and I think it's also a good idea you want to try to hold your needle tool in one hand with the paper tail with your thumb and forefinger and then you're going to be holding your strip that you're going to start rolling with your other hand. This is I think the trickiest part here is, is getting it going because it's sort of a new feeling. So kind of pinch it around a few times. You don't want to roll it directly on top of each other. You're going to kind of roll and pull at the same time and you're given some resistance with this piece over here. Not so much that you can't move the paper, but enough that the paper doesn't fall off. So the whole trick is, is you're gonna be moving pretty much three or four loops around your tool with this finger and kind of pulling away from the needle tool at the same time. So let me try to do this so it makes sense here. So you twist and kind of pull just a little bit, not enough that it makes a big gap, just a little bit. So you can see as I do that, it's going down the needle tool here. And because I'm giving it some resistance, it's not flying off and getting too big around the tool as I go. So pull and twist, pull and twist, pull and twist. And again, this is, like I said, it's, it's different. It takes a couple times to get used to it. Pull and twist, pull and twist, pull and twist, as long as you need it to be. And you can see as you get used to it, it sort of becomes easier. You can see on the other side as it comes off the tool, it's definitely spiraling. Pull and twist, pull and twist, pull and twist. It gets a little tricky when you get towards the end, when you start running out of tail to hold on to. So I find that what I tend to do is just, just snip that right off. You can use the whole thing again if you have a project that needs a really long spiral you can snip it into pieces if you need to if you find that it's starting to get out of shape a little bit you can kind of coil it back up a little bit with your fingers you can make it a little bit looser by unrolling it the other way you want to play with that and you might be come up with a different use for it that I haven't mentioned I did also play with doing two at the same time to get a double color spiral. And to do that, same exact thing, except you're going to line up two pieces together. So now we have a red and a purple. And same situation, you're gonna go in at an angle, hold up the tails with your other hand while you're holding the tool, and spin and pull, spin and pull, spin and pull. Spin and pull, spin and pull. And I'm not gonna do the whole strip on this one. But you can see now I sort of have this purple one. I did this a little bit quickly, so it's not the most perfect spiral in the whole world, but you can see the purple is wrapped around a spiral of the red. And that could be fun for different things. Some abstracted sort of projects or Maybe just colors that are closer together so you have a little bit more of a gradient kind of situation. But anyway, it's an easy 
thing, I think it's a big wow when you see a bunch of them together. If you look up some tutorials, maybe on, on Pinterest or some crafts where people use the spirals with a whole bunch of them together, you'll see it's, it's really pretty. Completely different than a lot of the traditional quilling, but they're pretty useful, so. There's gonna be more on this, some photographs and such on the blog post for quilling paper spirals that is gonna be on the blog coming up real soon. So take a look at that. Don't forget to check out all the other posts. There's been a lot of tutorials lately on um, different tools and different techniques. And of course, all the tutorials on uh, quilling paper projects to check out. So again, the website is thepaperycraftery.com. You can also check it out Facebook, Pinterest, all those things. So thanks so much. Have a great day.